So video for my salmon. This is the uh, plate loaded cylinder that I've done on the um, valent heat pumps. That's my buffer. This is the diverter valve running off to feed the plate heat exchanger here. Um, this is the feed into my hot. What I've done here is I've fitted a double check valve here. I don't know if this is right or not, but it was my idea to do it. Double check valve here just to offer enough resistance to overcome the uh, pressure difference between the inlet and the circuit through here. Um, and what I'm able to do when we run the hot tap inside, I'm able to use the flow setter to check that there's no flow. Now this has got a, the uh, minimum flow showing is four liters. So I may have some small amount of flow up to four liters through it that I can't see. Um, but certainly one, two, three liters a minute isn't going to make a huge difference when running a tap. And also I'm checking the temperatures. So I'm checking that when I'm running it that I haven't got a, a lower temperature between the outlet from the cylinder and this end. I noticed on the diagram, Mike, that you put on the forum the other day that it was returning into this return here. But I've got the bronze pump on here. And I can't see this being a problem, but be interested if anyone thinks this is a problem. Uh, but my idea is that like on the Wiesmann 333, that if this is running, the feed going in will feed directly to the tap. So we'll have this water here, and that's the point of this flow restrictor to ensure that we're getting the temperature rise through this unit. And what we've done here, this was um, an idea from Adam to fit this uh, pipe stat here to ensure that the, the loading pump, bottle water pump doesn't come on until we get 50 degrees at here and that's to ensure that we're getting some transfer across here. We should be very close to 50 on the outlet here when we're above 50 on the inlet. So uh, well, that's quite a smart little idea. Um, someone, I can't remember who it was, mentioned on the forum last night that there was a pressure, something, um, temperature limiting valve or something. I can't remember the, the name he gave it and I was quite interested to find out what that was about. But um, anyway, so yeah, this is it. Um, it's the same power from the diverter that opens the diverter that comes via the pipe stat down to the um, potable water pump. So the only thing different on this, as I say to the one you showed the diagram on, is my connection point up here. Got a second bronze pump there. I'm going to fit PIRs here on Monday. That's going to be operated by PIRs so that it doesn't run too much because that's going to cause the heat pump to run far too much. I don't want to waste energy on a heat pump job. So I don't want to waste energy on a, on a gas job either, but especially not on a heat pump job. So uh, yeah, okay, I hope that helps.